Hello viewers, welcome back to Yabe's Lessons. Today's video, I'll be doing a total beginner's bass lesson for you guys. At the end of this video, you will be able to play your scale and memorize your scales, how to use your fingerings on your scales, knowing the three scale shapes on your bass guitar that is on your major scale, and also knowing how to use your legato and your staccato, okay? If you're also new to this YouTube channel, I will want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel click the bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a video like this. Like the video, share to your friends, and also let me see your comments. But before we start the lesson, I want you to join my group. You can see the link down in the comment section box below. Click on the link and to take you direct to my Telegram group, okay? Join my group so that you don't miss anything I upload over there, okay? So let's start the lessons. <laughs> So today we will be using the key A for the lessons, okay? Why I'm using the key A, why I didn't use the key C, I want it to be easy for all beginners so that when you master the key A, you can now play it in any key, okay? So you can find the key A here. You see this first dot on your bass guitar? If you do not have the dot over here, you will see the dot at the top here. The second dot, your fourth string. Okay, that is where you can find your A. So, the first one is your scales, okay? Okay, so after the scales, I'll be giving you some practice you can use, okay? So that it can help you maintain your groove and make you stay stable on your, your, your scale or on your fretboard, okay? So, okay, so we have the Do, Re, we have me, fa, so, la, ti, and do. Okay, so now we are going forward. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Let's say we are climbing. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now we are coming down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re. Okay, so let me use a tempo and play it for you. Okay, I hope you are getting it. So let me give you an exercise for it. Okay. So now let's calm down with your notes, okay? So what I played over here is um do ti la ti la so la so fa so fa mi fa mi re mi re okay do ti la 
Ti la zo, la zo fa, fa, uh, sorry, that is so fa mi, fa mi re, mi re, okay. You can do this in any key. Okay, so um, so now you are done with it. Okay, so now let's move to the second one, your fingering. Okay, so you'll be wondering how do I play it? Even how do I play it without watching on the on the on the on the fretboard? Okay, it is very easy. So using the fingers will help you, or I'll say using the right fingers will help you play it very well without even you looking at your bass guitar. The little finger, your ring finger your middle finger and your index finger okay so number four is your little finger the ring finger is three your middle finger two and your index finger is one okay so i will show you how to place them on the scale okay that is your number two topic so on key a you see so let's say um middle finger is playing the do your little finger is playing the re so we have two and four okay two and four that is your middle finger and your little finger so for the me your index finger plays it that is number one two your middle finger your little finger plays four that is your so so mi fa so that is one two four let's start again do is two re is four mi is one um that is your fa is your two and your so is your four okay come again your la your one t this is where your ring finger plays the t and your do is your four okay so the four places your re so do your do is the octave re so do and your ring finger plays only the t okay we're talking about the major scales over here and your middle finger plays do fa you can also add a tall okay but that is for the seventh and do okay and your first finger plays the mi and la Okay, so Okay, so also with your fingering it will help you play as fast as you want. Okay, so that is an example. Okay, so now we are looking at the three scale shape. Okay, so when you say the three scale shape, it is normally the three ways you can play your skills okay so normally we play our major skills in this pattern that is here okay this is the second shape and we have the third shape and we have the first shape okay so we already know how to play the 
second shape okay so the first shape you play it in front of the second shape that is do. Re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. De, o, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. okay it's the same do re mi do re mi fa sol la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do and your third shape do re mi fa sol la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do okay so now let's look at the first shape and let's see how we can use our fingering on it okay you will now use your little finger to play the do Okay, so do re mi so four one three. That is do re mi four one three four one three. So if you see here is the do re mi. So if it comes from fa mi re, that is your re re mi. Okay, do re mi. It's not this do re mi. No, do re mi. Then your fourth finger plays the fa fa. Okay, so do re mi fa. That is four one three four. Okay, so la. That is your one. That is your one and your three. Okay, do re mi fa so la. Four one three four one three. T do. That is your one and two. Okay. Okay. So you can also use that pattern, that shape, to groove like this. Okay, so I wasn't using the normal, I wasn't using the normal, the normal, dun, 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 dun. no, I was using the first shape. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so try and learn the first shape, the second shape, and the third shape. Okay, so now you are done with the first shape. So now let's look at the third shape. It goes like this. Okay, so. Now let me show you how to use your fingering on the shape. That is a third one. Do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do. Do re mi fa so. So now let me show you how to use your fingering on the third shape. Remember the first shape you used your little finger, that is your four. The second shape, two. Now the first shape you will be using one. So do. now your one plays the do. The same one plays the re. Do re mi fa. So do re mi fa in just one string. Okay. Do re mi fa. Okay. So one, one, three, four. One, one, three, four. On the same fourth string, we play the do re mi fa on that string alone. Do re mi fa so la. That is your one and three, one and three, one and three, one and three. Okay, so la. Why I'm showing you how to use your finger to help you play like this. Okay, so we have. Do re mi fa sol la sol la 
So now that is your one and three. One and two. Okay. That is why I said it looks so similar to the first shape. So do re mi fa do la ti do do ti da do. Re do. One one three four one three one two two one three. Um one four three one one. Okay. So the first one. Second one. Third one. Okay. So now I'll be playing all the shape when I'm grooving. Okay, so one, two, three, go. Make sure you practice how to play the first shape, the second shape, and the third shape. Okay, it is very easy. Just take time, have a metronome, and practice every time you play. Okay. Sorry. Second one. Okay. So now let's look at the last one. That is your lacato and your staccato. Okay. So when we say lacato, it's when you play smoothly without no gap. Like when you play long notes, sustained notes, without leaving a gap. Okay. Something like this. There is no gap. You you didn't hear any cutoff. Okay, so let me show you. Let me use the major scales. That is your A and your second shape. Okay, so okay, so so how to play the lacato? You use your sliding technique and also your hammer on technique, something like this. You play the notes without you plucking. So something like this. Okay, so. Okay, so. You see, so. Okay, so just practice on it. You hammer on it, or you can also slide on it. It depends on the shape you're using. You see? So if I'm to use a three shape, I just slide. But if I'm using a second shape, it depends. Okay, so. So let's say I'm playing a groove with it. Must be no gap, okay? So you see something like that. You have to fill every space, okay? So 
Now let me show you the staccato, okay? You see? You see, it's like you're playing it shortly, okay? Between the, the keys. Okay, so so you play it shortly. So, okay, so let me use on a third shape. Okay, second shape. Third shape. Okay, you see that is very easy. Make it so short, okay. Okay, so try and practice the two. You can also use the two of them in any time you go, something like this. Okay, so try and rehearse on that, okay, so that you should know when you're using your staccato and your legato. Okay, so I'll see you guys later, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe.